Hello, Tungsten Miner here. Today I'm going to talk about the mod called Chicken Chunks, which very strangely adds these two different kinds of chunk loaders. But what's a chunk loader? Well, what's a chunk? In Minecraft, the world apparently is infinite in all directions, as we can see, just going off into the horizon. But of course we know this is a computer game, and as a computer game it works on your computer, which only has so much memory, and only so much ability to do computations. So how does Minecraft keep an infinite world running all the time? Well, the answer is it doesn't. It only keeps certain parts of the world running at a time, notably those pieces which are closest to the player or close to one of these chunk loaders. So I've outlined here all of the chunks that are close by to my current location. So you can see this is the chunk I was standing in in the middle. It happens to be the chunk that contains the point zero zero. And then I've gone out in a, each direction a little ways to outline where the different chunk boundaries are. And you can see the chunks are not super large, but also decently big. They're 16 meters on a side. And every chunk is adjacent to every other chunk in all directions. So as far as the eye can see, it's chunk after chunk after chunk. And the game only loads those chunks which are close by to the player. So while I can see out into the horizon, actually all of the chunks that are way off in that direction aren't even loaded yet. And indeed, given my um, current map as being a super flat that I've never really gone very far from the origin on, those chunks probably even haven't been made yet. So, what's the deal with chunk loaders? Well, if you go on a long voyage and you have a farm back home or you have machines going back home, anything that needs the player around to continue happening because it needs its chunk loaded, those things will stop happening if you wander too far away because that chunk is going to get unloaded. And this can be disastrous. You know, there are certain mods which, say, make uh, power plants that require cooling. And if your coolant is in one chunk and your power plant is in a different chunk, then the coolant might stop operating and allow the power plant to continue on without coolant and then blow up catastrophically or something really awful. So chunk loaders allow you to keep those chunks loaded. Uh, but you also might have something as simple as a farm that you want to keep growing when you're wandering off and looking for things. So let's talk about these chunk loaders. The simplest one is this spot loader. You put one of these guys down and that's all you got to do. It just stays there and it keeps this one chunk loaded. This spot stays loaded. The recipe for one of these guys actually involves making one of these other guys. So let's take a look at that first. The recipe for a chunk loader is to make an enchantment table, which, as a reminder, needs some obsidian, diamonds, and a book, and then surround it with gold and add an ender pearl on the top. So this is not something you're going to be able to make straight away. You're going to have to get yourself ready to hunt endermen and actually catch one of those buggers in order to be able to make this work. But once you've made the one, uh, you can then make another one and surround it with ender pearls, and you get ten of these little spot loaders. So basically each one for one ender pearl. Uh, but then you've got a whole bunch of spot loaders that are very handy to keep around. So if you've got a small farm that's a ways away from your main base, don't spend a lot of time there, this is a way that you could keep it growing. Or if you've got some um, machines maybe in the nether that are pumping lava and uh, sending them off somewhere, you could use a spot loader around just those machines to keep that one spot loaded. So it's a cheap way of keeping just one chunk loaded at a time. But sometimes, and especially around your main house, maybe you want to keep a lot more than just that one chunk loaded. Then you need a chunk loader, and this is the full-on version. If you right-click this guy, you actually get a GUI that shows you the radius, so the number of chunks nearby that it's keeping loaded, the shape of the chunks that it's keeping loaded, and I'll go through all these in just a second, and the ability to toggle on and off the lasers. Now, the lasers don't do anything except be visible. And you can see, therefore, exactly where the chunk boundaries are that are being loaded. So if I fly up a little bit and just follow this one laser here, you can see it's describing a square, right? It's going around here. So it's keeping that middle chunk loaded 
plus one chunk on every side loaded, which means it's keeping a total of nine chunks loaded all the time, centered on whatever chunk happens to include the chunk loader. And it doesn't matter where the chunk loader is, right? So if I take this and I move it over there, and I say show lasers, it's going to be centered in this chunk no matter where the chunk loader is in the chunk. So you've got a little bit of wiggle room about where exactly you place this thing. But if I were to move this across that boundary into the next chunk over, then it would be centered on that chunk instead of this one. So when you're placing them down, take that into account. Uh, okay, so that's the lasers. I can increase the radius. And now, instead of just this chunk plus the one around it, it's now loading this chunk plus this one plus that one in a square. So all of these chunks here and all of those chunks there for a total of 25, right? One, two, three, four, five chunks times one, two, three, four, five chunks centered on this chunk right here. Okay, but what if I don't need all of those chunks? Well, the first thing I can do is change it to be a circle. Uh, and what that's going to do for us is make it so that it doesn't load all of the chunks. Now I'm going to go stand right over here and you can see what's going on. Okay, so now we can see it expands out to include this chunk and then comes back in to include just this corner here and then goes around and then expands out to include that chunk. So what's going on here is it's keeping these stone chunks loaded, right? So it's keeping that one loaded, but then it zips in and then loads this chunk and then out to this chunk here and then zips back in and out to this chunk and then zips out to that one there and so on. So it's keeping a circular-ish area loaded. Now, of course, all the chunks are square, so it's not really a circle, but it's cutting out all one, two, three on that corner and one, two, three on that corner and so on so that it's keeping a lot fewer chunks loaded. And of course, as you get larger and larger, that uh, cutout on the corner makes more and more of a difference. The next option is line X. So what this is going to do is keep just a string of chunks loaded along the X axis, which is to say along the uh, east-west axis. And so you can see it's going out and then back in and staying right along that line. So it's not covering any of these chunks on the north-south axis, just the ones on the east-west axis. And, uh, you know, there's a certain expense to keeping a chunk loaded. Um, it means there's that much more of the server resources and the client resources need to be dedicated to making all the computations for that chunk. And they can't get unloaded, and therefore those computations need to be done all the time. So you want to keep as few chunks loaded as you can for whatever purposes you have. Um, so maybe you've got some kind of uh, pipeline where you're moving oil through transport pipes uh, a long ways. And so you want to keep a long strip of chunks loaded because that's where your pipeline goes. Or maybe you've got um, a, uh, a railway that you want to keep active and you don't want your trains to wind up wandering off. Uh, so this is a good way to keep all of those sorts of things taken care of. And of course, line Z is just going to work the other way. It's going to go in the north-south axis instead of the east-west axis. And that brings us back to square again. So that's kind of it for chicken chunks. Uh, chunks are those blocks that Minecraft keeps running, and it will knock chunks out of the world, or at least stop running them periodically if the player goes too far away. And your chunk loaders are a way to keep them loaded when you're not around. Uh, chicken Chunks gives you two types, the spot loader for loading just one chunk and the chunk loader for loading variable shapes as we just talked about. If you like this video, hit like. If you want to know when the next one's ready, hit subscribe and I will talk to you later.